most of the time you can just assume the viscosity of water to be one but of course you must have viscosity of oil okay you i'm sure you will have data so it's not a problem actually to construct the fractional flow curve okay so let's go to the fractional flow construction here i just copy paste the relative permeability table okay we have the data in the first three columns and the last column is the calculated one just use this formula oh let me erase it first okay i don't have my curve there so let's just use the formula oh yeah but before that i already have the data for the viscosity of water it is one fortunately and viscosity of oil is 0 0.9 so it's good in this case the viscosity of oil is lower than viscosity of water so in that regard from viscosity point of view my oil is more mobile compared to the the water all right but of course you need to combine it with the relative permeability okay to have the 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 fluid rock influence on the movement on the mobility of your uh, fluid okay relative permeability and viscosity and you will get the the general or the the representative view about the dynamics within the reservoir Okay, so let's go to calculate the viscosity or, or fractional flow curve. It's, of course, 1 divided by open parenthesis 1 plus. I will open parenthesis again. KRO, this 1 divided by KRW, close. And then just multiplied it by viscosity of water there. Use F4. Put dollar on it because we will use it again and again divided by viscosity of water i mean viscosity of oil f4 put dollar on it close and then close again okay so it's of course like this because we have the term that is one divided by zero okay so it cannot be all right divided by zero error okay but that's okay we can just track it like this and we have the data you can decrease this decimal if you want and just change it to zero manually okay so that's it you have the fractional flow or maybe you can expand increase decimal okay so it's like this and let's just delete the plot Let's construct it from zero, insert, and then I want to use this one scatter, maybe this one. Okay, scatter with smooth lines and markers. All right, and then right click and select data. I will name it fractional flow curve, sorry. All right, and then series X, the horizontal axis, is of course the water saturation, whereas the series Y, vertical axis, is the fractional flow. Click on OK, and then click this one, and then use axis title, and then this one is SW in percentage, and this one is the fractional flow. Okay, dimensionless. Okay, just change the color to black. And this one format axis, just change the maximum value to be one to make it more correct. Okay, and number, decrease the decimal to only one. Okay, so it's like this and you have it. It's very simple. So this is how we can construct a fractional flow curve. Thank you.